okay, it's your boy Ron Ricketts. Welcome to this week's edition, the first edition of Ricketts Review, where I'll be discussing the current topics after the weekend's games. First things first, let me talk about Rick's Picks, my prediction show, which I put up on Friday before the first game Liverpool had against the, the season of Liverpool against Norwich City. Seven out of ten of my predictions were correct. I start off by predicting the scores and the results, but I'm going to stick to predicting the winners or if there's a draw. And I got 7 out of 10 of them correct, so I think you're going to have to stick with me. 7 out of 10, that's a very good average. Okay, so yeah, 7 out of 10, start following me on Rick's Picks. Let me know how the, your bets go, and I'm going to keep giving you some, some winning uh, predictions. Anyway, the three topics that I'm going to be discussing in Rick's Picks will be Frank Lampard's debut game was turned out in a, in a disgraceful 4-1 um, defeat against Manchester United. Um, and the second topic will be Neymar. Apparently, there's no U-turn. It can't be resolved, this situation, which I don't know what it is at PSG. Uh, apparently, once out. And the third thing we're discussing is Jose Mourinho's criticism of Abraham and Mount, or also of the decision Lampard took to play those two in such a big game um, in his debut opening game in his Premier League career as a manager. So, first up, let's talk about which one should we go into first? I'm going to leave the best to last. The one I'm going to leave to last is the um, Jose Mourinho criticism of the decision Lampard took to start Abraham and Mount in such a um, crucial game. So, let's go into Neymar. Neymar situation. Apparently, he's unstable at PSG. Apparently, he's not happy. Apparently, he's, not, he's underachieved. If you go and look at Neymar's stats, I'm not a guy that just relies solely on stats. But Neymar's stats are phenomenal in terms of his goals-to-game ratio since he's been at PSG. They've won back-to-back -back titles, won a couple cups. And as far as I'm concerned, Neymar's been phenomenal, him individually. Have they won the Champions League? which was the actual objective when they signed him. No, they have not. It's difficult to win the Champions League. They can't rely solely on Neymar. But I think he's been um, very, very productive there. That's on the field. Off the field, we know Neymar is a superstar. So I know commercially, he's probably made them so much money. So I don't know what's the big hoo hurrah there. But I think Neymar's probably, you know, he's... How would I say? PSG's a big club. He probably loves it there. But I think the league in general... Maybe he's missing playing in a league where there's more coverage and just a bit more, I want to say, glamour. And I think he maybe wants to go back to Barcelona, Spain. And then after that, a few years after that, he probably want to go back to the Brazil. Who knows? He might even want to go to the Premier League. But I don't understand what's going on there. Hopefully that gets resolved quickly because we all would love to see Neymar playing back in Barcelona, if I'm being honest. We'd love to see him back there in Barcelona, especially with the new signings that they've made there. Let's move on now. Frank Lampard. First game, Manchester United, away from home, not an easy fixture. We cannot judge Frank Lampard on this one result. Um, I, I like the fact that Chelsea have given a young English manager um, the opportunity to manage a club so early in his career. Frank Lampard, we can't, no one can say nothing about his playing career. He's not my, how do I say, Frank Lampard's not my style of midfielder. But I've got so much respect for the career that he's had. Chelsea's all-time leading goal scorer as a central midfield player. Phenomenal. As a coach, he went into to Derby, done a phenomenal job. I keep a close eye on what's going on, mainly through um, because of Jody Morris, who's a guy that I've played against. But uh, I've heard so much great things about him as a coach. So through Jody, I always keep a close eye on what he's doing. And they moved to Derby. They did a fantastic job in their first season there. Yesterday's game was against Manchester United. In my opinion, the first half, Chelsea were the better team. Manchester United were very fortunate not to be behind. So people seem to forget that straight away when they look at the scoreline and go, 4-0, oh, they got thumped. Why did he start this player? Why did he start that player? I think Sir Frank Lampard has gone in there and he's done an amazing job so far. They're playing some good football and they're just very unfortunate. And they didn't have the killer instinct. Do you know what I mean? When you're playing in these games, you... I've, I remember playing in games against top teams away from home. You're not going to get lots of opportunities. They actually dominated them in terms of possession and had opportunities, and they just didn't finish them off. So that has nothing to do with Frank Lampard. I mean, it's, it's the players, they've got to look at themselves. 
And and I know they will be. They know they will. They're, they're not going to be looking to use Frank as a scapegoat so early in the season. Um, so yeah. So hopefully the Chelsea fans, you look to stay calm. I know you, I know Frank's a legend, so you're not going to be jumping on his back. Stay calm and support the team and support the youngsters. That's the most important thing. Third topic and very important: Jose Mourinho, a guy that <clears throat> I respect Jose Mourinho for what he's done in his career. But I was always very critical of him in terms of giving young players a chance. He was always he was one of the first people that came in the scene when Abraham, Abraham, um, Roman Abramovich had money, and he was spending left, right, and centre. Um, if you got that money to spend, you want to win the league. You're probably going to spend the money. But I've always looked at him and said, why is he not giving the youngsters a chance? Then he gets the job later on down the line at Manchester United. One of the guys he gave a chance to, and he wasn't by choice. It was by default because he had no other strikers, was Marcus Rashford. Look what Marcus Rashford's turned out to be. Fantastic young English talent. So this guy's come on now, and all of a sudden now, they've, Man United end up selling Lukaku to Inter Milan to give um, Rashford, to give Martial the, 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 the nod and make them be the kind of first names in the team sheet in a striking position. And he's, you've seen the dividends he's paying. And whether he scored two yesterday, Rashford, whether he scored two or not, these young players deserve an opportunity. But um, um, Jose Mourinho, he didn't give him his opportunity because he wanted to. But now Frank Lampard is doing something I consider extremely brave. Extremely brave. He's giving young players, homegrown talent like Mount and Abraham, the opportunity to start in big games, first game of the season. That's massive. So the result, this is what I don't like. Um, Mourinho sat up there and he's saying he made a bad decision. Why? Because they lost 4-0? Four, four because Chelsea should have been up in the first half. And if, if they would have scored the goals with those young players on the pitch, everyone would have said, wow, great, great decision. He's sticking by the young talent. It is a fine, fine line. It's a fine line. And this is why people in the media sometimes, they distort our, perspect uh, our, uh, um, our perspective on the game and perspective of the talent of a coach like Lampard and his decision to do what Pochettino has done for the last few years, and he's blooded in young English talent. Um, Tim Sherwood done at Spurs, Spurs. So this is why I'm here to talk because, and I'm not. I can't um, talk bad about Mourinho because he's had a phenomenal career as a coach. But I've got to make sure that I give you like the real, real of this. Frank Lampard made a great decision to start these young players because they're good enough, and they need to give, be given the, the true, genuine opportunities in the big games. So well done to you, Frank. Mourinho, you need to listen, you need to, you need to kind of retract what you're saying and realise you've been in that position and, and um, Rashford, he got his debut, I think it was against Arsenal and he was the star of the game. But all of a sudden now, you're in, you're in the media seat when he was criticising Paul Scholes, saying, oh, he doesn't know what it's like to be a coach. Now you're media and you're saying the opposite about what Frank Lampard's doing, even though you've done the same. Okay? Cool. This is your boy, Ron Ricketts. Ricketts Review is going to get more interesting. Next week, we're going to go into goals. I'm going to get to see all the goals this weekend. We're going to go into goals of the week, assist of the week, even though I'd love to talk about Paul, Paul Pogba's pass for Rashford's goal. And Pogba, and Mark Rashford touch. Cool, blimey. Who saw that touch? Like a feather. He brought it down. Tucked it away. Tuck shot. Open. 90. Where you at? Anyway, so boy, Ron Ricketts, make sure you go and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Uh, rolling with Ricketts TV and follow this on my Ron Ricketts IGTV and share it with your people. It's your boy Ron Ricketts, Ricketts for you. One love.